Hey YouTube, welcome back to Maxcom Tips, and uh, today we're going to be revisiting an issue, AMD versus Intel, because there's been a lot of disputing on that video, a lot of people commenting, so I literally took some comments out that uh, were either false or a good point, and I'm going to review them and like talk to you guys about them and cover some things up that you might be confused on. So um, I'm first just going to pull up, uh, oops, where did that go? Sorry, I'm pulling these up on my computer right now. I'm just going to post them on the... Uh, on the main uh, page for you to see as big. Uh, the first one here is more cores doesn't necessarily mean better performance, which was a big thing people uh, were talking about. You know, AMD has uh, processors with more cores that they have made, and Intel doesn't because Intel goes up to the i7 currently. But uh, this is true. More cores does not necessarily mean better performance in some cases because depending on your situation, you're Net, uh, requirements, whatever you're working with, eight cores, like in the past video of the uh, FX processor from AMD, might not even be used in your computer because if you're like doing, I don't know, like just watching YouTube videos, going on Facebook, just simple things on the internet, and you have an eight core processor, you could have a two core processor, it wouldn't change a difference. It's going to be the same performance, you're wasting those cores. So, more cores doesn't mean better performance. Now let's say you're doing some high rendering and you're in a like After Effects and you have all these um, things going on. You have multiple programs open and you have a quad core and all these multiple programs are running a little slower together. Then an eight core would work better because it could split up all the workload between the cores. So that's basically what more cores doesn't necessarily mean better performance. It all depends on you and your system, your situation, your even your cooler, your your entire rig will depend on that. Because in some cases a quad core can be better than an eight core. It just depends. So that one you can't really fight, uh, you know, true or false on. It just all depends. Uh, the second one here I have is I don't care about price. I care about high performance. So it is Intel. Now this can be true because Intel obviously is more expensive. If you have all the money and you want to buy an i7 Extreme and you know boost up your system, some configurations can be a lot better than the 8 core um, AMD. The, it, again, it all depends on what your system is. Now, if you're looking for price, uh, if you're a cheaper gamer and you know you don't have all this like thousands of dollars to spend on your computer, then yeah, AMD is for you. It'll get it done. It'll be good for your system depending on your rig you might have to modify some stuff but Intel is a lot more expensive so this guy uh, I don't have names here because I would have to ask each person if I could post their comment but uh, this guy um, says he doesn't care about price meaning he either has the money or he's just a pretty hardcore gamer so he wants the best of the best and he wants to spend you know five hundred dollars on a cooler and thousand dollars on a CPU and stuff and he can make a pretty awesome rig with that he just has to spend a lot more money um, and now I'm going to go into the next one, which kind of leads into some of that, uh, the first two, which is, have you ever heard of hyperthreading, which this person posted, which was kind of more of a sarcastic um, uh, remark when someone posted something about cores being better, and how Intel doesn't have as much cores, and he said, have you ever heard of hyperthreading? And I actually have a video explaining hyperthreading, which this guy might have taken wrong, um, I'm not sure because that's all he posted, but... I'm actually going to bring up the sec the next comment here as well because this kind of will lead into that. It says the A core processor are only four cores because the FX is fake cores or something like that. This person clearly does not understand this, so I wanted to kind of um, like show you guys what it is. Hyper threading is you have four. It's Intel's uh, technology, by the way. AMD is not owned. This is all Intel. Intel created hyper threading, uh, also called HT or HTT. You can watch my explain video on all the details, but basically it creates four more virtual cores out of the four uh, physical cores. But now for this other person's comment said the 8 core processor, they're talking about the FX one because it says because FX is fake cores or something like that. That is not true at all. The FX has eight physical cores. That's what makes it an 8 core processor. That's why they call it an 8 core processor. They call the i7 and the i5s and all those four core processors because they have four physical cores. With hyper threading enabled though, you can get some virtual cores out of that, which you can watch. I'll have a link in the description for my other video, but uh, if you want to watch hyper threading explained, it explains all that. I'm not going to waste too much time on it because that would uh, just take up more time and I want to get to the other comments. So yeah, those are pretty much cleared up, I think. If you have any more questions, just message me. Uh, the next one, um, it says, no, I, I don't know what he's replying to, but he said, no, I say AMD is slower in game for 3 to 5 FPS from Intel, and I say Intel is not 
he says no worth the price, but I'm pretty sure he meant not worth the price. Uh, AMD CPU and AMD GPU give you the best experience and save you money. Now, this one I can agree with in a couple ways and disagree. Um, he says AMD is slower in game for 3 to 5 FPS. Now, that can be argued because it depends on your graphics card mainly for gaming, so your CPU wouldn't have much of an effect. And 3 to 5 FPS, seriously, no one's going to recognize that unless you're going from like 5 FPS to 10 FPS, yeah, that's recognizable. But if you're arguing about AMD and Intel, you're probably having a pretty good system. You're not going to have a single or dual core system. You're going to have like a quad core system uh, with a nice, like, uh, huge, like, three way crossfire, like, GPU setup and stuff. I don't know. You guys have some crazy rigs out there. But 3 to 5 FPS really isn't going to matter because that can be in the margin of error, anyways, if you have a little, like, a, like, if an ex couple explosions happen at once and it kind of makes you lag a little there it can take down three FPS and you wouldn't be able to tell at all so 3 to 5 FPS really doesn't matter in my opinion I mean some of you might be really picky or you maybe have like 20 FPS and you like getting to 25 FPS if you're really low if your system's not as good and you want to run the game on higher settings but um well basically 3 to 5 FPS isn't going to change much and uh, AMD uh, GPU will give you best experience and save you money yeah uh, that one I um I don't have much experience with that because I haven't tested multiple GPUs and multiple CPUs together. But uh, I think for my rig, I like running an AMD and a Radeon because uh, those go hand in hand. A Radeon GPU, or not GPU, sorry, a Radeon, uh, well, yeah, GPU, a Radeon uh, graphics card uh, with a AMD CPU. Now, if you're talking about GPUs, that's a whole different story, and that's uh, actually an APU I'm thinking of, which is like a processor and a graphics card mixed. Uh, but those are pretty new. I'll talk about those later in another video. But uh, yeah, that's basically that one summed up. Um, it does save you money, and I think AMD, uh, with your CPU and your graphics card combined Radeon and AMD, I think that that's a pretty good matchup. But Intel has some pretty good matchups, too, with uh, their NVIDIA and Intel, so you can argue that both ways. Uh, the next comment here is overclock AMD to make fire and then a little happy face. This is just saying that if you overclock an AMD basically it's going to overheat your system which is complete just ignorance of this person. They aren't thinking about anything but just hating on AMD because that really depends on your cooler and how many fans you have in your computer. If it's water cooled, where it isn't your house, uh, is it in a nice air conditioned room. It has a lot of factors into that and how much you're overclocking it. You can overclock any system and it can overheat as long as you have like a horrible uh, cooler on it or no cooler at all. But if you have a nice uh, water cooled system, you can overclock an AMD easy and it won't overheat, trust me. So that one's just total uh, bogus right there. Uh, the next one is all of the fanboys, such as myself, are effing hilarious when it comes down to arguments. Um, this one is just kind of one I want to throw in for the wrap up. Um, it's just because all you guys argue so much and it's just not worth it guys. I mean both systems can be good. You can see uh, better and worse sides to both sides. And this brings me to my next comment which is what if I told you you can like both. And yeah, you can like both. I like both. I like Int Intel's i i series. I like their whole lab. All their laptops are really nice um, with their i series in them. I have a friend who has the i uh, five in their laptop, and it runs really smooth. And uh, that's great for them. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. I also love the AMD because I mean I like pairing them with Radeon's. I think it makes a good setup. I think it's easy to work with and stuff. But I mean you can obviously argue the other way, which Intel with Nvidia setup is really good as well. Uh, so, yeah, you can like them both easily. You don't have to pick one or the other because if one stood and the other one was gone, then it would be chaos because if it was only Intel, Intel would raise its prices even more and they wouldn't give you as much performance. And if it was only AMD, the same thing. AMD would raise their prices because there's no competitor. So you have to have both, so you might as well like both because they both have their ups and downs. And in these last two comments, Intel is much better and AMD's best processor in the world. Those are just the comments that I think should be deleted, but I don't have time to go through every single one and delete them. That would just take too much, and uh, it kind of spurs some conversations, so I'll leave them there. But those are just people that just want to start fights and just get people on YouTube fighting. They don't even have any logic behind these. This person just says Intel's much better. They don't have anything to back that up. This person says AMD, best processor in the world. There's better processors than that. I'm sure there's some weird processor out there that doesn't even have a title. Someone created and better than that. So, uh, yeah, both those are just bogus. People don't have their uh, logic and facts backed up. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or leave me a comment below saying something I missed or something that I didn't explain.